The United Nations Security Council is no longer fit for purpose. Not for the hot, crowded and often violent world we live in. And not for issues such as Syria, South Sudan, nuclear proliferation, global pandemics, organized crime or terrorism. But the intergovernmental negotiations on reform of the UN Security Council are stuck. We need to think differently, do things differently and learn from 70 years of experience with the current Council. Elect the Council is a global initiative from the Institute for Security Studies South Africa. Over the last two years, the initiative has engaged key stakeholders to develop specific proposals to reform the Security Council. The initiative envisions a Council that is effective, representative and does justice to the emerging global redistribution of power. Elect the Council is now establishing a global alliance for reform that will mobilize civil society, business, academics and like-minded states across the world. Only a global alliance could bring about an amendment to the Charter of the United Nations. Elect the Council proposes a 20-year transition period, during which the current five permanent members remain on the Council with enhanced voting powers but no veto. The Council increases in size from 15 to 24 members. Rules of procedure are finalized, amongst others. After the 20-year transition, the Council consists of three types of members. First, states or coalitions of states that each account for 6% of the global economy, 6% of global defense expenditure and 3% of global population will automatically qualify to serve on the Council and each of their votes will count for three. A second category consists of eight regional powers, which are elected to serve on the Council for immediate and indefinitely renewable terms of five years. A third category is made up of 16 elected rotational seats, where states serve for three years. The reformed Council will therefore consist of 24 elected countries, plus two or three global powers. We propose that the five electoral regions that currently nominate the non-permanent members of the Council will nominate the candidate countries on a proportional basis. Elections will take place in the General Assembly. Elect the Council further proposes minimum criteria for candidates, a freeze on Chapter 7 decisions on specific contentious issues, a regular review process, measures to break procedural deadlocks and much more. Without reform, the UN Security Council will continue to lose legitimacy and will eventually become irrelevant. There is too much at stake for this impasse to continue.